So you want to learn SSH Secure Shell for your Security Plus, CCNA, LPIC, or one of many other IT certifications. Well, today we're going to demonstrate how SSH works using some of our favorite nostalgic childhood friends the Ninja Turtles. Because turtles have shells, so it's only fitting. Also, Secure Shell operates on port 22 on a computer. You can remember this in a few ways. Number one is that 22 looks kind of like SS. And number two is that there are four Ninja Turtles, which you can split into two groups of two. So let's say Donatello is in his lair doing all kinds of well, Donatello is basically an IT nerd now that I think about it. Anyway, he's doing his thing, researching some stuff in the turtle's lair, and Raphael wants to send him some important technical data on the turtle comms, but they don't want Shredder or the foot soldiers to intercept their communications. The way to keep their communication safe is by encrypting it with something called Secure Shell. Secure Shell is kind of like a virtual secret tunnel, kind of like a sewer tunnel that allows Raphael and Donatello to share files securely over the internet. Or Turtlenet. I should have said Turtlenet. So in order to send encrypted files, they first need to establish a secret virtual turtle handshake. This is called the SSH handshake. During this turtle handshake, they exchange secret codes, otherwise known as encryption keys, that only they understand. Then, when Raphael and Donatello send their messages, they slice and dice them like turtles do. This way, if the oh, Foot Clan no. intercepts the messages, they won't be able to understand them without these special secret encryption keys. Once they have this secret handshake, they can start their conversation. When Raphael sends the message to Donatello, SSH encrypts it and sends it through the SSH tunnel. Donatello gets it and SSH will put it back together so he can read it using the secret encryption key that Raphael sent him. And now he can read all the secret data. SSH also checks if the message was tampered with during delivery. So if someone tries to change the message while it's being sent, SSH will know and alert the turtles that something fishy is afoot. I'm sorry, I had to. This is how the Ninja Turtles can communicate securely across the internet without anyone knowing what they're sending. I mean, they are ninjas, so of course all their communication needs to be secret because that's what ninjas do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helps you understand Secure Shell. Remember to check out the other videos if you like this one, and I'll see you as always in the next one.